frog pumps. So we've done the frog pose before, right? So for here, you're gonna get your, your knees nice and wide. With your feet, I don't want them just directly behind you. I kind of want you to turn those toes out like a frog, okay? From here, normal frog pose, we just kind of like sink down, right, and we hold it. For the pulse, we're gonna pulse into that kind of hold position and then come out. So you're gonna be here, go down, or frog pumps, sorry, I call them pulses. So pump down, come back up, go back down, come back up. If you can, the goal is to be kind of on your forearm so you can get a little deeper of a stretch. Right here to here. You will definitely feel this in the inside of your hips. Now, why do we pump or pulse instead of just hold? The pulsing or the pumping um, will allow our hips just to get warmer um, and allow us to hopefully get deeper into that hold. So usually I throw this at people once we've done the hold enough. Now let's see if we can start stretching them out a little bit more. And that's when you go down and up. And you just try to get a little bit lower. Don't force anything. Just if your body allows it to get a little bit lower, come back up. All right. That is your frog pumps.